Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the subjunctive, um, just about what exactly it is and then when to use it. So first we're gonna be talking about what exactly the subjunctive is, then we will get into talking about the subjunctive versus the indicative, so um, when you use what, and then finally we'll end with some examples. So what is the subjunctive? Um, so basically, it's just a tense that is used in French when you're talking about something that is subjective or uncertain. And there actually is not an English form of this, which is why a lot of people have trouble with this concept. Um, so subjectivity in French includes expressions of necessity, doubt, possibility, desire, as well as judgment. So now we can go into the subjunctive versus the indicative. So this is kind of a tricky concept just because sometimes it's hard to figure out what is subjective and what isn't. So you use a subjunctive first off when you are talking about something that is necessary, wishful, or possible. So if you have a sentence that starts with, it is important that, I hope that, or it is possible that, or anything similar to that you will be using the subjunctive. Um, you'll also be using it with expressions of uncertainty, um, if you're doubting something, or expressing, expressing emotions. So I doubt that, it's sad that, um, it's good that, things like that, and then verbs of appreciation. So I'm happy that would be one of those examples. Um, and then the indicative is, I guess, pretty much anything that doesn't fall into the left side. So something that is certain or confirmed, obviously. Um, so I am sure that, um, I know that, and then verbs of opinion. And this is kind of debated, but generally you use the indicative. So I think that is the biggest kind of debate that goes on. Um, some people say it's subjunctive, other people say it's the indicative, but in general, um, I think most people use the indicative. Um, and then some other verbs that express opinions, so penser, croire, estimer, supposer, trouver, imaginer, espérer, um, et cetera, so anything similar to that. And then, like I said before, if the sentence doesn't fall into any of the categories on the left side, it probably takes the indicative. Um, so finally, we can get into talking about some examples. So first one is, I want to go to the cafe. Um, this is going to be indicative because you are wanting to do something. So je veux aller au cafe. Um, second, it is necessary that we study for the exam. Il faut que nous étudions pour l'examen. And it is necessary that, so that fits into one of the subjunctive categories. That's why that is being used here. And then this is the weird one, the debated one. Um, I think that he's at a party. Um, this takes the indicative, so je pense qu'il est down fête. And then it is weird that she does not like dogs. So this is going to be the subjunctive. So c'est bizarre qu'elle n'aime pas les chiens. And then lastly, I can't imagine failing all the exams. Um, so you can see the way it's conjugated in the translation. Je ne peux pas imaginer rater tous les examens. Um, and then another thing that I kind of want to mention here is that sometimes you can't really tell, I guess, when there's subjunctive in a sentence versus the indicative just because the conjugations are the same sometimes. Um, so that is just something to keep in mind. So that concludes this video about the subjunctive. 